In this video, we're looking at the dispersion of white light passing through a diffraction grating. When we pass this light through the diffraction grating, I end up seeing a violet fringe at a relatively small angle because I don't have to tilt up that far from the center line to get to the point where the path length difference for adjacent slits in the diffraction grating is equal to one wavelength for the violet light. And I'll post a link real quick to where all this was derived. So I get my shorter wavelength light interfering constructively at a relatively small angle, and then my longer wavelength light, I'm told the longest visible red is about 700 nanometers, interfering at a larger angle. And what I want to get is the angular separation between this violet fringe and the red fringe. So really what I'm after, if you look at the labels in the diagram, is theta 2 minus theta 1. So I'm really just quoting the diffraction grading formula here for maxima produced by a diffraction grating, and that's d sine theta equals n lambda, where n is 0, 1, 2, and so on. The n equals 0 maximum is actually the center line. The path length difference for adjacent slits is 0 for every wavelength of light, so they all interfere constructively along the center line, and I still have a mix of all the colors, so I see a white spot there. What I'm interested in is the first order maximum off the center line, and that corresponds to n equals 1. Now that little d is the spacing between lines on the diffraction grating. And that takes a little bit of work to get done because the units we were given are lines per millimeter. And what we want is meters per line. So I have one millimeter for every 1,200 lines. Putting it in the correct units, that's 0 0.001 meters for 1,200 lines. And if I reduce that, I get meters per line. So I get 8.33 times 10 to the negative 7 meters for little d. Now I'm ready to find the angle for each of these interference maxima. So for 400 nanometer light, I'll start by solving for sine theta in this formula. So sine theta is lambda over d. Plug in the wavelength in meters. The slit spacing in meters. And I get 0 0.480. Solving for theta, I get 28.7 degrees for that violet fringe. Now the 700 nanometer light, all the calculations happen the same here. I just sub in my red wavelength of light instead of my violet. And when I run the numbers on this one, I get 57.1 degrees. So that's theta 1 and theta 2 from the diagram. Really what we're after is the angular separation between those two fringes. So to wrap things up, theta 2 minus theta 1 is 28.4 degrees. So the angular size of the rainbow we produced with this diffraction grating by passing a white beam of light through it is 28.4 degrees. If you find the physics content on Zach's lab helpful, Click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.